Good morning! Saturday morning and I think I'm going to take you guys along with us on our adventures today. We're running a bunch of errands today. We have to get my ring cleaned and just examined to make sure that nothing is loosening. We have to pop by a bank. Probably won't take you in for that adventure. Just saying. And then I think we might go to the mall because I got like birthday coupons from uh, J. Crew, which is in the mall, and Loft, which is across the street from the mall. So we might do that. See if there's anything interesting I could get with those birthday coupons without going over the um, amount they're for. So that'd be nice. So, I mean, those those coupons, it's like $15 off when you spend $15. So, I mean, you have to spend at least that much. I understand that. They, they want you to buy something, so I get that. Um, yeah, so the Loft one's $15, the J. Crew one is $25, so we'll see if we can get anything interesting, maybe something that's on sale. I'll have to look at the J. Crew one. The Loft one you can only use in store, but the J. Crew one you may be able to use online. I'll have to read that coupon. And then I also have a Lush gift card. <coughs> I also have a Lush gift card that I got from a coworker for Christmas, so I might see if there's anything interesting in that. But right now, I'm just making coffee. Today, we're using the Texas mug. So cute. My high school colors were orange and blue, so I've got kind of a soft spot for those colors together. And instead of brewing a whole pot of coffee, I am using the instant stuff from Four Sigmatic. They come in little packets. They come in packets like this actually. This is one of their like blends that I haven't opened yet because I have a different blend open. I just want to use one at a time. But um, yeah, they come in or they came in little packets like this. I think they might have been on sale when I bought them because um, they were repackaging. So I bought a ton of stuff when they were having a huge like cleared sale for repackaging their items and they're still good till 2020. So it's like but anyway, I um, repackaged the instant coffee into a little mason jar just because I was opening and closing the packages a lot. So yeah, that's in there. I'm gonna use some of that and some of my Oatly oat milk. And that's a morning. There's a guy like walking around a yard, a couple houses down. He just looks super suspicious. Uh, whatever, he's not in my yard. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. I hope nothing personal is on this. No, just recipes. Okay. Anyway, my water kettle is just about ready. And then I got to figure out what I'm going to have for breakfast. I am feeling a little bit lazy. I really want pancakes, but I don't want to make pancakes. So I'm probably going to just use toast with some almond butter maybe. That sounds easy. Just putting stuff in the dishwasher. Thanks. I feel like it's hard to run the dishwasher all the time before it gets smelly when there's only two of you in the house. Because you don't use that much stuff day to day. Anyone else feel that? So it gets smelly in there when I'm loading the dirty stuff because it takes a day or two to get it full. Anyway, I'm rambling. So, for a cup this size, I think... I'll use like a scoop and a half, two scoops of my coffee. These are the most comfortable pants in the world, by the way. They're Under Armour and they've got like this little fold down waist thing. I don't know. I'm not sure what they're called. I had to return something to Dick's once and I saw them and I'm like, oh, you're coming home with me. So do like a spoon maybe two actually so I do like my coffee a little stronger and then get our hot ass water and I pour it as far up as I want to leave room for the milk Does anyone else get annoyed when people say milk 
instead of milk. That drives me nuts. I don't know why. I know it's probably just a regional enunciation thing, but that drives me nuts. It's milk, not milk. I'm sure other people have words like that. Like the girl I went, there's a girl I lived with in Belgium, and she would always call me out on full versus full. And I'm like, girl. But we all have our words, so I can't get better. <laughs> or like when people say, um, this is another one, roof instead of roof. If you are watching this, I would love to know how you pronounce. milk and roof because that's obviously I, how I pronounce them. Let me know down below. Okay, we need to add oat milk. Oh! I figured out what I'm having for breakfast. I'm not having toast. Last night, Austin made an enchilada pie. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It was delicious. And we have plenty of leftovers, so I'm gonna have that. I think I'll just warm it up in the toaster oven. That is a perfect idea. Oh my gosh. So this recipe, and I'll link it down below if I can remember, but um, he was looking through um, an article on PETA for their best recipes of 2018 or the most popular ones or something and this was on there and we kind of changed the recipe a little bit because I think it said it served six or something and we were like oh we don't need that much so we like halved a lot of things but yeah it was delicious we didn't we couldn't find vegan sour cream and I didn't feel like making any so we just put guacamole on top instead and then I put some jalapenos on mine too pickled jalapenos but he loves enchilada sauce so he just like drowned his in enchilada sauce but yeah this was delicious and I will put the link to this recipe down below if it's not there and someone watching this because you know like 10 people watch my vlogs if one of you is interested in that recipe, comment down below if I didn't link it and I will go ahead and link it. But yeah, I'm going to drink a little bit of this coffee first and then I'm... Actually, no, I should get this going in the toaster oven because that's going to take a while. Let me plug it in. Toaster oven's just right here. And then we have these Pyrex dishes that can go in the toaster oven. That are like the perfect height to fit in our toaster oven. So... I'm just gonna cut a wedge of this and get it into the toaster oven. I'm gonna drink some coffee. And then after I get myself nourished for the day, and by the day, I mean, it's like already 11 o'clock. I was laying in bed for a while, Facebook ad shopping, cause you know, it's what responsible adults do. Not really. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get dressed and then we will start on our adventures today maybe we'll go to the bank first just to get that out of the way because i'm sure there's going to be a million people at smythe because that's the jewelry place we're going to go to again okay break so i just left smythe and my hand is naked i don't like it we dropped austin's off to get claimed as well so i'm gonna have to actually leave my big ring here because apparently I vented some out and they are going to fix that. Now we're on our way to the mall and probably get something to eat over there at some point too. What are you thinking? I'm hungry. Do you want to eat first? Up to you. I could eat, that's fine. So I guess we're eating. And I think we're going to go to P.F. Chang's to eat and I'm saying and a lot. Yeah, that's that. You can send We've been all over the place. What's that? Oh yeah, I can send it to the thing. Yeah. Um, I didn't film anything in the mall because it's awkward and I'm not there yet. I'm just not there. But we had lunch at P.F. Chang's and that was delicious. I had the, what did I have? What is it called? Something Thai curry. Harvest. Harvest Thai curry. That's what it's called. That was okay. I don't think I'd get that again. And then we shared the Szechuan 
asparagus, which is bomb. I could eat that all day, every day. And Austin got the was it, Mapo tofu. That was pretty good too. We went to Lush and got a few things, which I will show you guys when we get home. And then we went to J. Crew because I had a $25 coupon and I got some jeans, but they didn't have the right length in store for me. So they ordered them for me. So I will get them probably in the next week or two and they're really cute. And my work just switched just to um, casual. So we're allowed to wear jeans every day now. So I need to wear jeans because I literally like in October or November just bought pants for work and now I don't really need them all at all which sucks but whatever so we are heading back to Smythe now and we're gonna pick up my wedding band and Austin's wedding band and my engagement ring has to stay here for a while to get fixed but we'll come get that next weekend I think and then we'll probably head home right mom's Oh, we're going to mom's grocery store. I can't find my Tom's of Maine mouthwash anywhere, so we're gonna look for it there and then we'll probably grab a couple bougie vegan things, as I like to call vegan foods. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. We're home now and we just put away all our groceries and I am going to have a cupcake. We got cookies and cream vegan cupcakes and carrot cake vegan cupcakes. I'm gonna dig in because they look delicious. And then I think I will show you guys what I got at Lush. It's been, I don't know, a couple hours since I last checked in. Oh, come on, focus on my face. There we go. No! This is annoying. Maybe this way? <laughs> it's just not focusing. There we go. It's been a couple hours since I last checked in with the cupcakes. We have been on a binge of Stargate Atlantis. So we watched a couple episodes of that, more than we wanted to because now it's like after midnight and he has to be up early to go to the football game tomorrow. But um, it was one of those episodes that carries on through a few episodes so we had to finish watching. But let me go ahead and show you guys what I got at Lush today. Okay. Here's my Lush bag. Sorry, the light flickered. Something is wrong with my lamp. But they have this cute little pink bag now. I thought it might be for Valentine's Day, but I don't know. So, let me dig all the goodies out of here as I talk through a yawn, which is just annoying, but oh well. Okay, so I picked up the Aroma water. I thought a toner might be fun to try. I've tried the tea tree water toner before and I've liked that. So I figured I'd give this a try. Since I'm using um, witch hazel right now as my toner and that is on the lower end in the bottle. So I was going to need one anyway. And then I got this mask to try honestly just because it smelled good. That is literally the only reason I picked that. And then I was given the sample of Sleepy Shower Gel. The girl said it was nice, so she gave me a sample of that. And then I think this was called, I am so sorry I'm talking through yawns. I got a shower bomb because I've never actually tried one and I think this is the Sleepy Time Shower Bomb. So I'm kind of excited to try that and see how these are because I've used bath bombs before and like I get the whole point of that it's fun it smells nice it's cute you find the bag you get to um have nice smelling water that's a bunch of pretty colors but the shower bomb really the only perk to that would be the aromatherapy benefits so I'm curious to see how potent they are and then also let me show you this while I'm at it I ordered this on Amazon. It's like a 20 pack of eco-friendly toothbrushes. And they all come in like these, I guess it's recyclable, individually packaged packets. And I'm excited to try them. Austin just grabbed one and just tried it. He's still in the bathroom, I think, doing his evening routine. But yeah, I'm probably going to swap out my toothbrush soon. Mine's not as old as his was, but 
now we are well stocked with toothbrushes for quite some time. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning so much. Hey y'all, hey. So it's Sunday now and Austin's off at the football game. I guess the game has started. I don't know, I don't ever watch the game. And I've done like a whole whopping lot of nothing. I've had a lazy breakfast. I've been watching Netflix. I'm watching the new Marie Kondo show, Tidying Up. And it's giving me inspiration to get down in my basement and get rid of a bunch of crap, even though a lot of crap down there isn't even ours. Austin's mom's got a lot of crap down there and it is kind of to go. So yeah, that's what I'm up to at the moment. And actually I've got the wash machine running on like a cleaning cycle and I think I'm gonna start doing some laundry and then start taking the Christmas stuff down, which is so sad. But you know, Christmas is over and I'm ready to get this shit out of my living room. I'm not big on decorations. We don't have a ton. We've got the tree and then literally we've got, here I'll show you. Let me flip my screen down. So we've got this little thing here, these two little snowmen, and this dish, this Christmas tree dish that came from Austin's mom. So let me actually pull them aside and get them together. We've got Kitty's stocking, Austin's mom and grandma's stocking, our stockings, um, and then these three things. These are like our only decorations, this reindeer, this tree, and this candle. And I'm so happy with that because honestly, I don't want a bunch of crap in my house. And of course our Christmas tree, which I'm gonna have to take apart too. So let me flip this back around. So yeah, that's the extent of our Christmas decorations. Oh, and I've got like this little tree here. But aside from that, that's it. That's everything. Cause I don't like having a lot of the stuff out. I like to keep my house looking the way I like my house to look. And we don't have a lot of space to put stuff anyway. So it's not like there's anywhere to even stick a bajillion Christmas decorations. We don't have lots of bookshelves or counter space. So that's fine. So I'm gonna start cleaning that up. And then, actually that's probably my day. That's probably all I'm doing today. So, yep. Kitty kind of wants to go outside. Let me show you. She loves going out on the deck. Especially when it's sunny. We don't let her run around. When she lived at Austin's mom's house, she could walk around because that's where she was from. So she showed up at their porch one day, she was hungry, they fed her, she kept coming back, and eventually they took her to the vet and they just kept her. And so that's how they found Kitty. But when Austin's mom sold the house and they stayed here for a while, they brought Kitty with them, obviously, and Kitty is not from this area, and we live right on a main road, so I did not want her going out side and potentially getting hit by a car or lost so she's lot out on the deck and that's it it's probably for the best anyway because now we don't have to really worry about fleas and ticks and all that stuff because it's not like there's really any like tick type areas big trees or plants that oh, touch the deck sorry i'm yawning so we just you know, we gave her a good look over here and there, but it hasn't been a concern, which is nice, because I don't like having to give cats all those treatments and chemicals and things anyway. We had one cat at my mom's house, like, she hated flea treatments. It made her burn, so, like, it literally burned her skin. You couldn't put it on her. So, yeah. I'm going to carry some clean clothes that I just hadn't taken upstairs. Upstairs, and I'm going to bring the rest of the laundry down, take it all downstairs, and maybe get to work when the closet down there. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I should do the Christmas stuff first, and then I'll take a look at the closet. I don't know. There's 20 million things I want to do, so it's like, which one do I start at? Because I wanted to clutter down there so bad. We have old paint down there that the previous homeowners homeowners had left for like just the plain white walls and stuff and I think they had left some of the ugly colors we painted over so I want to get rid of some of that too I think that all has to go to the dump but I want to 
get to work on that because I'm tired of that. And then eventually my next huge project will be organizing Austin's tools. He's got so many tools and none of them seem to make any sense with their location. They're all just kind of thrown down there. So that'll be quite a project too. But for now, I think I'm going to deal with the clothes and then maybe the Christmas stuff. I'll check back in. So today is Monday. I kind of have been doing a crappy job of vlogging, but I have about 15 minutes until Vanderpump Rules comes on tonight. So I thought maybe I would declutter some purses because I really need to go through them because they're all kind of old and beat up. So I have to get them down, but then I will come back and show you guys what I'm working with. So here's all my purses. This one got a beach bag little travel toiletry bag with some other little bags. Pink purse from Target that Austin got me one year for Christmas, along with some other stuff. He didn't just give me a cheap purse. The one I'm using right now, I think that was from H&M. I got that at Goodwill. I think that was from Walmart and that. I have no idea. My brother got me that one year. And then we have this really cute little handbag with the gold chains that I got at a yard sale. I think it's from the 80s. And then this is a Steve Madden, I think. I don't know. I think this one is going to have to eventually go. Yeah, I think I got to let this one go. All of the edges, the handles are beat up, so I think it's reached the end of its life. But I'm going to give them all a thorough look over in just a sec. And I've got this little straw bag, which is from the Goodwill. It's just a cute little carrying just a few things kind of thing then this is my all-time favorite bag I'm still on the hunt but this is the closest I've been able to come to finding Sophia's bag from Golden Girls and I love this I got this at an antique shop in Berlin Maryland and then these two I got at the same time a bajillion years ago I was still in college I think and I need to check the details on them to see how they're holding up. But this one looks decent enough. I do think this one was starting to get a little beat up last time I used it. But I'm going to look at that in detail as well. I think, I think this one, since it's really beat up, I might let that one go. I'm thinking I'm going to let this one go because it's really beat up. And then this one as well, because I bought it thinking I would use it because it's so cute, but I just, I don't see myself using it, even though it is adorable. But I'm going to look at them all in detail and then come back and let you know. Okay, so I've decided pretty much on what I thought, what I said before. So I'm going to let go of this one, which is really old. They're all really old, honestly. I haven't bought purses, at least not like new purses in the longest time, because I just had all these ones and I wanted to like really get use out of them so I've moved everything into the black one which I actually have out in the hallway but um goodbye person thank you you served me very well I think I got this in I want to say I got this in college but it might have been just after college and this one was a Christmas gift from an old friend a really long time ago. And I got a ton of use out of this one, so thank you as well. Didn't get any use out of this, but that's okay. It was pretty, and it's going to um, make someone else very happy. I'm going to see if one of my friends wants this, actually. And then I'm also going to let go of this little toiletry bag. I don't ever end up using it anymore because I use something else. And this little bag as well the lips and I'm actually gonna hold on to them for when I declutter makeup and give that makeup to my friend because these will be nice little bags to put it in so those will get repurposed not gotten rid of and then I'm gonna see if my same friend wants that these are just kind of like they're sort of too beat up to send to the goodwill so I don't know if I should trash them or just send them to the Goodwill and if they don't want them they'll trash them so I don't know. I gotta think about that. Maybe I'll Google some of their standards around giving. So yeah, I'm gonna put all this stuff back. I'm probably gonna put my beach bag with my bathing suits which are somewhere else since they're not used year round 
and I'll put all that stuff back up in my, oh, sorry, it's so late, in my closet up top there. I actually just recently got myself a step stool so I can reach everything in the closet, which is silly, but I'm so tiny. I'm five feet tall, so yeah. I'm gonna get to that and then I need to take pictures of actually of my planner because I'm gonna do a quick blog post about my planner. I just published a video on my main channel, what I got for Christmas, so if you're interested in that, go check that out and yeah, that's what I'm getting to right now. And let me turn this around, actually, let me look at myself. So that's what I'm gonna get into now. I really wanted to film another ch video for my main channel today, but it's after 10 o'clock now and I am tired. I actually didn't get home till like an hour after I was expecting to get home because I was packed up and ready to go and then three of my girlfriends from work ended up at my cubicle because a lot of changes happened at work today. So we were all just discussing that for a long time and before I knew it, it was six and I'm like, oh, I should be home by now. So yeah, I lost some of my time that I wanted to use to get some stuff done around the house. So that kind of cut into the video time, but there's always tomorrow. I know what video I want to film. I have everything written down. I just need to sit and film it. So I think I might bring this vlog to an end so I can also get this online shortly and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm. It's gonna take me a while to get used to vlogging. It's not something I feel natural doing out in public and I know probably 10 people are gonna watch this anyway, so it's not even that big a deal if it's horrible. The point is I'm doing it. I'm starting somewhere, I'm sticking to it, and it's better than doing nothing at all. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Comments and questions down below, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.